I think we all have a sense of what it is, but uh, we can define it as we go along. Community is the natural state of mankind. I think it's safe to say that uh, the earliest man, or prehistoric man, was hanging out with his family and other members uh, that the family married into. They roamed around together for food and shelter. There were no refrigerators, obviously, so they all uh, looked for food every day. It was essential for them to work together or perish. Perhaps that is why the concept of exile was a death sentence. You have the mountain men, the Jim Bridgers and Jedediah Smiths, but they are the rare exception. That may be why we find them so interesting. There's probably debate about how large a community can be and still be a community. Again, we are chasing our tail. It depends on one's definition of community. For example, some argue that we have a world community, a sort of global society. This may be a political agenda by some to justify war or redistribution of wealth. It has been argued that community is a continent, a country, or in our case, a state. I believe all those are too big, but not just in, in terms of geography. One could have what has been called a community of interests globally through the Internet, yet be quite limited in number. Ah, the <clears throat> government is the 300-pound gorilla in the room. The... Uh, classic definition of community would be those living in both the same locality and under the same government. However, you've heard people say on the news how so-and-so person who committed some heinous crime was not a part of their community, although he or she lived there. At times, that can be people just not taking responsibility. Can you imagine a caveman thinking such a thing? The, the people were the government and they did what they had to do to survive. We now give up much to the government, and the government can help, hurt, or even destroy a community. Yes, there is a place for government. The government should protect the community. That is its function, not to interfere. For example, uh, we were walking at night in Mill Valley, and I heard this guy in the bushes snoring loudly. I was, I was a fireman at one time, and sleeping at the fire station, I know snoring, but this would have kept the mountain lions away. Anyway, we could not move the guy. He was so big. So we called the police, and they and the fire department came and helped out. Now, I did not know this guy, but he was part of our community, and it was nice to have assistance. We pay for to help him out. In short, we do not have to know everyone in our community. I've been fortunate to have grown up in Marin County. My World War II vet father came to Northern California after the Korean War. However, my family has not always been so lucky. Both of my parents grew up without fathers in the home. In fact, my mother was raised in an orphanage for Indian girls during the Great Depression. Doesn't get any tougher than that. That is the absence of community. I'm not sure that either one of them recovered from those early experiences.